Hey everybody, Paul here, and we're back on the campaign trail as Charles Dicksucker runs for president. Let's see, according to the polling data, we are well behind Barack Obama. So we need to find a way to step that up. Let's see, we have a bunch of political capitals. So let's hire some crooked people. Uh, intimidator. And then let's hire, um... No, we want to... Oh, we can't do a smear merchant. Or a spin doctor. A consultant. That will make us look better. Oh, it's 12. Apparently I can't do math, either. Oh, okay. We're going to send our scandal monger to California. Because maybe that'll help us uh, do better there. And then we're going to send our intimidator to New York. And then we are done for our turn. Candidate Dick Sucker is still twa trailing his weeks did dwindle. Oh, I can't read. Aw. Dick Sucker lose key supporter. He must have used a fixer on me. So let's see, let's hire some more operatives. We're gonna hire a spin doctor. We're gonna make him go to New York City. Ooh, there's something new in Maine. We're gonna go up to Maine. We build a headquarters here just because we can. Oh crap! A wacky, outspoken, and generally obnoxious heckler has joined the ranks of Charles Dick Sucker's election team, whose opponents will now have to work twice as hard in the state that the heckler is heckling in. Oh, oh, that's awesome! It makes it so it's harder, increases stamina, expenses when the other candidates there, and then we need to go somewhere. We're doing better in the South. Let's let's look at New York. Okay, they're totally aware of us in New York, so we can move Giuliani somewhere else. Move him to Missouri, because I, I doubt... Yeah, we're not doing so good there. Wow. We're actually doing better in California than New York. See, we're going to send the spin doctor. Well, actually, we'll leave him in Ohio. And of course, we're doing good in the home state of Michigan. So let's give a speech while we're here. Let's improve the economy. And then let's fly to Pennsylvania. And go visit the Quaker Dutch. We can visit the Quaker Dutch. We can visit the Quaker Oats, dude. I want some damn oats. Give me some oats. And if I cut all the fundraising out of this game, there would be no game left. You'd be like, wow, that game took five minutes to watch. So we're going to hire an operative. Oh, actually, no, we won't. Wait a turn. Oh, there's our heckler up there in the left corner. So we will put him in California. I should have done that earlier, but I didn't notice it. And I guess we're going to just upgrade the um, headquarters here. And then fly to New York. We're doing better in the southern states as our message gets out some. Even LBJ is not stopping us there. We're going to do better in the Heartland, too, now that we have Rudy Giuliani in Missouri, because that's so important. The other states around there are going to be more likely to find out about us and want to come to us, join us. Oh, we've got a lot of people in Connecticut. We do not need this many people in Connecticut. So let's move that smear merchant somewhere we can use him, like, to help us in Pennsylvania. That's a turn. Man, this is not looking good for us. Ooh, I guess we closed the gap a little bit in the polls electorally. So let's create another ad. Homeland Security will be in favor of it. TV ad. 
Let's see. We want to hire a spin doctor. Can we afford one? Yes. Oh, you see all those people in there. Can we see what his ads are about? Oh, cool. You can. It's about outsourcing jobs. Currently, that's an issue I haven't touched on at all. I can give a speech, though, about improving the economy. We'll just do more of... So let's see, what big states don't we have a lot of pull in? We don't have a lot of pull in Virginia, because we're not very well known. Or North Carolina. We are getting more known in those southern states. Oh, that's why we're getting more electoral votes. The southern states are finally finding out about our conservative message. They like it. So we're going to check out... Let's go to a state we haven't been to yet. Wisconsin and Minnesota have some electoral votes. So we're going to go to Wisconsin. We're going to build a hit, one of these for political capital. We're going to upgrade it. And then on our next turn, we'll give another exciting speech. Let's see, they're putting up ads for jobs and stuff. Come on, Rudy. Do your Rudy thing. Do a Rudy dance. Can I pick you up and move you? Oh, no. I can move the whole screen. <laughs> like, do the Rudy dance. Dance for us, Rudy Giuliani. Then everyone will vote for us. So we're going to give a speech to the Minnesotans. Or Wisconsin's. Wow, I'm, I wonder why I'm not winning. I go to the state, I'm like, hey, Minnesotans. And they're like, we're in Wisconsin. Or I did with Massachusetts and Connecticut. So they all want the economy improved. So we're going to give a speech about improving the economy. We're just going to play to the base. We do that again? Apparently we can. And now we want to smear merchant to make the other guy look bad in the state. That seems classy. Ooh, and there's a TV gig. Who is it for? Barry King Live. Oh, we sometimes do okay on that. So we're gonna take another risk with Barry King Live. Tonight at Barry King Live, I may or may not forget who my guests are, resulting in upwards of 30 seconds of awkward silence. There's more Barry if you watch this Let's Play. And the next president will face the most dangerous and difficult issues in the history. I'm terrified to go outdoors, and you're talking to a guy who grew up in the mean streets of Brooklyn. With that in mind, let's say you get elected in November. You're inaugurated in January. You redecorate. You spend a few weeks cleaning your predecessor's junk out of your office. You get pencils, pencils all lined up at your desk. After that, what will be your initial primary focus of your presidency? Um, economic growth. Negotiating with a drinking empire? <laughs> We also need better hats. No, we have the best hat. Economic growth. Oh, that was a tepid response. Last time I was in Kenosha, Wisconsin, two very well-dressed and groomed men walked up to me and asked why in a country where I can get married and divorce 17 times to a woman they couldn't get married and divorce to each other once. I had no answer for them. Where do you stand on gay marriage? That is not good, because that's a divisive issue. Especially when we want to do well in liberal states and we haven't campaigned at all. Let's see. Gays should be allowed to get married. Marriage. You know, with the way we're dressed, we have to support gay marriage. I'm sorry, with the way we dress, we have to respond. Oh, I'm screw you, screw you, people who who have judged my dick sucky lifestyle. That's my character, not me. I'm afraid we've run out of time for night. See, I can say if Dick Sucker loses, that's about why he supported gay marriage. Dick Sucker worries independence. Answers on Dick Sucker discourage base. Well, that may not have been the best showing ever. Hopefully at least it helps us in California. In New York. Oh, well, apparently it did in Oklahoma. Apparently people want gay marriage in Oklahoma. We are seeing more states turn red and purple, though. Purple being undecided. Though we're still way behind in the polls when it comes to electoral votes. That's not good. And we've only got, like, four turns left to go. So we'll fundraise one more time. So 
we can build another headquarters. Let's see, we need some special interest guys. Let's let's get another consultant. Oh wow, they really don't know about us in Wisconsin. They don't know about us at all in Minnesota. Minnesota tends to do more liberal though, so we're going to well, even North Carolina. Well we built one of these things. We're gonna take a risk and send the person to Wisconsin to try and give us a foothold there. We give a speech here about improving the economy. And then we're going to be done with our turn, apparently. Oh man, the O'Malley scenario. Oh, that's supposed to be like the uh, O'Reilly show. Come on, that should be favorable to us. We're conservative, that's a conservative thing. Show is a very broad audience. The questions are not as difficult at nighttime, but are more direct. Beware of using non answer. Okay, we're gonna take it on. I, I can't do. The internet blogs doing more to infringe on our patriotic freedom than expand it, and what does one presidential hopeful stand to learn from me? Good evening, I'm Bill O'Malley, and you're watching the scenario. We're getting socked at the pump. The big oil companies are taking us to the cleaners. As president, what would you do about this? Uh. Lower oil prices magically? Take over Saudi Arabia? Is that an option? Let the market deal with it. I support drilling in Anwar. Alternative fuels? Uh, no, it's. We're gonna go with alternative fuels. Ooh, people love that. The border with Mexico is in absolute chaos. There are millions of illegals in the United States already, with millions pouring in all the time. What would you, as president, do about it? Let's see, it's. Reinforce the Border Patrol. Yes, we're gonna go with that. That's a lukewarm response, but it'll keep us safe. Ooh, people didn't like that. See, I don't think the Border Control can do it. It's a huge border. For me, I'd get the military down there. I guess I should've gone with that. This is an issue of national security. The terrorists know that our borders are wide open. We have to put a stop to it. Okay, we're gonna agree with that. As a re re last resort, yes. Oh, well, that helped us. I'd like to extend a special thanks to our guests for the opportunity to allow me to teach a future president something. I'm Bill O'Malley. Thanks for watching. Now, we better have done well on that one. I mean, we did good on the first question. We did okay on the last. Oh, he's such a baby face. If people saw him more... Ooh, he, he, Dick Sucker impresses the nation again. They're pleased with his showing. Yes, they like it when he shows. That's weird. Wow, and... Let's see, hire another operative. Oh, apparently we need some more. So let's give a speech about improving the economy here in Illinois. Let's see, the last couple turns we probably ought to spend in the big states of New York and California. That would make a lot more sense. So I. Yep, that's going to be our next and probably last episode. So we're going to take off for New York City as we begin the end run of Dick Sucker's campaign to be president.